All right, so on our way to the kitchen to see some real good mold, Julie spotted with her trained eye <laughs> the bubbles on the ceiling. Um, so if you look up above you, um, you're going to see what she's talking about. So describe this and what you'd be looking for. Well, this is a classic example of where there may have been a roof leak of some sort. We see that the tape is peeling uh, in this shot, as well as there was a bubble of some sort. And in between the uh, where the tape is peeling, there's actually a rusted uh, nail head, which again is indicative of water uh, potentially coming through in that area. So just because there's uh, bubbling and peeling tape doesn't automatically mean that there's mold, but it's definitely something that we want to look at. So um, could there be mold behind there? Absolutely. Is there and no way to know until we're pulling it back or doing some testing? So let's talk about the pulling it back because you said that a full time. So that means you're basically cutting into the drywall to see what's behind it? Yeah, cutting into the part that's, that's hanging to see if there is, you know, you can see little spots. You really don't want to cut all the way into the drywall because, A, it's not your house just yet. And, uh, B, the second you start cutting into it, if there is mold there, you're going to start releasing all kinds of spores into the air and that's not something you probably want to do. Yeah, that's not good.